The NBA Live 98 Fantasy Tournament is underway. The draft is complete, the rosters have been organized, and the first 10 games have been exciting and unpredictable. Let's take a look at how each team has done so far. The season started off with a bang in a crazy matchup between Rose City Saint and Kite. Representing RCS's Portland Trailblazers, Allen Iverson made a clutch three-point buzzer beater to defeat Kite and the Kings 97-95. And this game's ending has unfortunately summed up Kite's season perfectly. The poor guy just cannot catch a break. It's not that he has a bad team. When we first organized the rosters, we discovered that on paper, Kite has the best team. But that talent, unceremoniously, has just not translated well to calm versus calm play for him. The only team he has beaten so far, ironically, is his biggest rival, Wal Ranium. Which team do you hate the most, Wal? Kite, because he's a mother... In the meantime, while Ranium's Cleveland Cavaliers have been struggling to find an identity. After starting the season 2-0, including a one-point victory over Buzz Thunder, Wild's team has been inconsistent with their outside shooting, which is extremely important in calm versus calm play. With Gary Payton chucking too many shots from outside, Wild made the controversial decision to bench Gary Payton in favor of Damon Stoudemire. The decision has not yielded positive results yet for his team, but we're still early in the season. Another man of action, not afraid to make controversial decisions, is Buzz Thunder. After his Charlotte Hornets lost on opening night to Wow Ranium, Buzz went on a tear. Because he was so disappointed in his team's fourth quarter effort, Buzz immediately fired head coach Dave Cowens and appointed himself as the new team general. This led to interesting pep talks during the games. Oh, good lord. We don't care. We don't want to win. Basically, I hate Detlef Shrimp. Let's just try to calm down. What are you doing? What? You missed? Get the rebound. What? Somebody play defense. Just let him walk out. He just walked down the middle of the... Ugh. Come on. Woo! We need to do some positive reinforcement because I just yell at my players. After a Game 10 victory over Rose City Saint, his team sits at 500 and at borderline playoff contention. It's not clear yet if the early rash decision has paid off for Buzz. Rose City Saints Portland Trailblazers is another team struggling to find an offensive rhythm. Under his management, they have had some impressive victories, but the lack of outside shooting is catching up with them. Allen Iverson does what he does best, consistently missing outside jump shots. Because of this, RCS's team is currently last place in three-point shooting. On the bright side, Carl Malone has been an absolute beast for the Blazers, averaging 25 points and 9 rebounds so far this season. He has regularly been under the basket, crashing the boards and cleaning up those Iverson bricks. A blowout victory against Chris Clark in Week 1 has been RCS's highlight so far this season, but sitting at 4-6 and six after the first 10 games has to make RCS scratch his head, wondering exactly what he's going to do with his starting point guard. Chris Clark 104 has been a bit of a surprise early in this league. After 10 games, he has his Orlando Magic sitting pretty in playoff position with a record of 6-4. He is currently leading the league in field goal percentage and is in second place in three-point percentage. One of his six victories was over Coach Crabb, putting an end to the Hawks' seven-game win streak and holding them to their lowest point total yet this season. With key victories over top-seeded Coach Crabb and Sand Peelin, Chris's Magic just might be a sleeper this season. And even though he has less known players like Lafonso Ellis and Vashawn Leonard, do not underestimate the team chemistry the Magic have developed under Chris's tutelage. Another team on the rise is Coach Crab 127's Atlanta Hawks. After suffering through an embarrassing 18-point loss to the San Peelin Suns on opening night, Coach's team went on a tear, winning the next seven games. And while there may have been some luck along the way, such as in his Week 1 victory over Justin and the Celtics, when Sean Kemp airballed a potential game-tying dunk with 25 seconds left, Coach's team has shown that their 8-2 record is no fluke. The Hawks are first place in scoring and three-point shooting. Mitch Richmond has been the offensive MVP so far for Coach, putting up amazingly efficient numbers. Mookie Blaylock and Steve Smith have also done extremely well off the bench. With Coach's balanced scoring and strong perimeter defense, it will be difficult to dethrone him as the current number one seed. But there are a few other great teams in this tournament capable of doing just that. Justin Mann 114 is the owner of the Boston Celtics, and he has probably the most star-studded lineup in the league. With players like Reggie Miller, Hakeem Olajuwon, and Sean Kemp, it's no surprise that he's been having early success. 
and it's such an impressive roster when considering he had the final pick of the first round during the draft. With victories over Sand Peelin and Chris Clark in Week 2, Justin has been surging his way through the season. After the first 10 games, he is now tied for the third seed with Chris Clark at a record of 6-4. and four. Only time will tell if Justin Celtics are a serious contender for the league championship. The most explosive offensive team in the league so far this season has most definitely belonged to Sand Peelin and his Phoenix Suns. But the main story here is the unbelievable play of his starting shooting guard, Kevin Johnson. So far this season, Johnson is averaging 35 points per game and has been just shredding defenses at every point of attack. Inside, outside, it doesn't matter. KJ will blow right by you for the easy layup, or he'll make a fadeaway three-pointer right in your grill. He's been unstoppable. And when he's taking a break on the bench, KJ's teammates Eddie Jones and Keith Van Horn have been stepping in nicely to plug that hole. Yes, San Pelin is off to a great start, but he has to be a bit concerned about back-to-back -back losses against Coach and Justin to start off Week 2. But despite that, at 7-3, and, and with the fastest team in the league, the San Pelin Suns seem to be sitting pretty early in the season. And that's what the early season of the NBA Live 98 Fantasy League looks like so far. Will the top tier teams continue their dominance, or will one of the bubble teams make a run to replace them? Will Buzz's superior coaching skills be able to save his Hornets from early elimination? And will Kite be able to rally his troops out of this early slow start? It will be interesting to see the effects of each team tweaking their roster moving forward through lineup changes and trades. Be sure to thank your league commissioner Armageddon Time and stay tuned for more NBA Live 98 fantasy games in the near future, right here on the Coach Crab 127 Twitch and YouTube channels. Thank you everyone, and have a good night.